This is Good Morning Jacksonville. Okay, good morning to you. And right now it's following uh, that breaking news. Uh, one of the many crashes that we have seen so far this morning. Uh, the one we're talking about now involves a, a patrol car. We have First Coast News Camera Evander actually heading to the scene. He's actually stuck in traffic because, Figures. as you mentioned, there's so many crashes at this point. Exactly. Let's check in with him now. Cam. Keith, good morning. Yes, as you mentioned, we're right now we're stuck in traffic. Um, all we see is just a sea of red uh, brake lights ahead of us. So what we can report, what I'm, based on what I'm seeing, uh, we see that JSO, FHP, and JFRD are on scene. And while we're stuck in traffic, we see that emergency, emergency vehicles are still uh, trying to arrive and uh, get to the actual scene. So again, if you're headed in this area, we're set up shop. We're on the northbound lanes of I-95, and the lanes are completely blocked. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show, you can see, show you some traffic cam video. You can see how traffic is backed up for at least a mile um, or so, and we can report that this crash does involve a patrol car. Of course, we're going to be uh, staying on top of this and bring you much more information as soon as we, as soon as we learn it. But for now, right now, I can report that traffic lanes, all northbound traffic lanes on I-295 is blocked, and traffic is being uh, rerouted onto Alta Drive. So you can expect some major, major delays if your commute um, is headed this way. For now, we're putting live camera left here. I'll send it back over to you guys. And we are in the Vice Star Credit Union Traffic Center this morning, so let's talk about more about 295. It's these northbound lanes that are blocked, and you can see traffic being rounded off at Alta. This happened just before 5 a.m., and we know it involves a patrol car. We don't know what law enforcement agency that patrol car is with at this point, but you can see we've got several first responders that are here on scene. So where exactly is this? If you're unfamiliar with the area, this is kind of on the northwest side of town. Once you get off of the Dames Point Bridge going northbound, you pass Heckscher, and then you pass Alta. So it's it's those northbound lanes at Alta where this crash has occurred. To get around it, I would exit at Heckscher, and you're going to be sitting in traffic just to get to Heckscher. Travel northbound on Eastport Road. At, you're going to kind of hit a fork in the road, take a left, and you could either get back on at Pulaski or go over here and get back on at North Main Street. So that's kind of your route around that. Now we want to show you kind of where you're going to see ponding. The blue represents ponding. The green just represents where the roads are wet. So the ponding is where I'm really concerned about the hydroplaning risk, and really that's all over our area at this point, especially here in Northwest Jacksonville, but we've also seen a lot of crashes even down here towards the west side and out towards I 10. So please be extra careful this morning. Those roadways are very, very slick. And for more on that, let's get to meteorologist Mike Prangley. Thank you, Katie. Let's take a look. We're going right to radar. Here's the blinding rain. So it's put down about a half inch of rain in the last hour as it's moved through Clay, St. John's, Putnam County. We've been tracking this all morning long as it's shifted off to the north. It looks like the heaviest rain in the areas of most concern right now. Nassau County up into Glen County. We zoom into street level, taking a look at some of that blinding rain. Be extra careful. I-95 northward. Here's Nassau County, and we're talking about areas of uh, Callahan now getting into some heavy rain, moving up toward Hilliard, uh, Yuley, I-95, seeing some very heavy rain at this time, and it will impact areas of Hilliard and Hilliard elementary school as we head into the next 10 minutes or so and it'll continue to shift through southeast Georgia with some very heavy rain including Folkestone, Waynesville and Waycross as we head towards 730. So our big impacts. Yes, this morning it's the slick roads. So we've got to slow it down. Street flooding, not a huge issue at this time, but lightning and gusty winds. We could start to see this activity pick up for the drive home after a break in the rain. So it looks like the heaviest rain before 7 a.m brief break into early afternoon. Then by late afternoon, here comes the rain again, this time with some strong storms. Today's high 83, another weather app day. We'll take a closer look at how long this rain will last and how much more is on the way coming up. We are off to a busy start on this Tuesday morning, and we count on you to help us tell the whole story when weather strikes. Share your photos and videos with us using that hashtag FCN storm. And happening today, the man accused of stabbing his adult children and setting his west side house on fire will be in court at 9 this morning for a hearing. Police say Carlos Antonio Rivera attacked his two children with a butcher knife. He later turned himself in and was allegedly covered in blood. Records show this family has had a history of violence issues. Again, today's court hearing is set for 9 this morning, and we will have continuing coverage for you right here on First Coast News. So he was accused of planning a mass shooting at a Jacksonville mosque, and now he's going to get 10 years in pr prison. Bernardino Bolanete was actually convicted on a gun charge, not the plot itself. He was found to be in possession of an unregistered firearm silencer.
potential mass shooting was thwarted all by undercover police work. And right now at six, there's a statewide search for a 12 year old girl underway. She's from Santa Rosa County. Emily Navarro, she may be traveling with an 18 year old. His name is Elvin Mercio. He's on the screen right now. They could be in a black Honda Civic with Tennessee plates. If you see them, if you know anything, you're urged to please call police. And right now the search is on for a missing mom out in Nassau County. She was supposed to pick up her kids on Sunday. But police say she never showed up. You want to get right out to First Coast News is Alex Osidas. He's live in Yulee this morning with the very latest details. Alex. Keith, good morning. It's been 61 hours since Joey Cummings was last seen here in Yulee. She works actually just down the street at a local hair salon, and she was going to pick up her kids in Hilliard on Mother's Day from her ex-husband. And when she didn't show up, that is when everyone in her family became quite nervous. Now take a look at your screen. This is a picture on the left hand side. You'll see Jolene and then on the right hand side is the vehicle that she was last believed to be seen in. Now Jolene is 34 years old. Her family says that she's normally good about answering her phone. However, in the last couple of days, all of those calls have gone straight to voicemail. That vehicle identified as a 2006 Ford Expedition. Uh, it is uh, a Florida license plate. Take a pen, take a piece of paper, write it down 035 KBQ. Again, that license plate, a Florida plate 035 KBQ. If you've seen it, call police. Her family desperate for answers this morning. They actually uh, reported uh, having police in the area around her home in the Yulee area, searching the woods for her still. Uh, no signs of her this morning, so that is something that they are continuing to track. Police say that they also made the family aware of a domestic dispute call just last week involving a former boyfriend of Cummings. The family aware of that as well, so this is something that we're continuing to follow in the search for Jolene Cummings. We're live in Huey. Alex decided his first coast news on your side. 6.07 is your time. Let's get you caught up on headlines making news around the world this morning. The Malaysian Airlines flight that went missing four years ago crashed into the Indian Ocean on purpose. At least that's what aviation experts are saying, according to Time magazine. The plane has yet to be found, but a group of international experts were on 60 Minutes Australia Sunday with the theory that the crash was a mass murder-suicide. Two of the experts say that they don't agree with the Australian Transport Safety Bureau's thinking that the aircraft just crashed. Flight 370 disappeared in March of 2014 with 239 passengers on board. A couple in California is now arrested and charged with child neglect, felony torture, and felony child abuse. Their 10 children were rescued from their home yesterday. You can see the images from the home there. Uh, police say they were living in horrible conditions. They had puncture wounds, burns, bruising, and injuries that appear to be the result of being shot with a pellet gun, again, by their parents. The mother was released on $10,000 bond, the father in custody on a $1.5 million bond. First Lady Melania Trump is recovering this morning after she had a surgical procedure on her kidney. The White House says it was for a benign condition. There were no complications. President Trump visited his wife at the hospital last night. She could be in the hospital for several days. She's the first First Lady to undergo a serious medical procedure while in the White House since Nancy Reagan had a mastectomy in 1987. Happening today, friends, family, and law enforcement officers from around the country will honor a fallen Highlands County deputy. A procession will start around 9.30. The funeral service is set to start around 11 o'clock for Deputy William Gentry Jr. He was killed earlier this month while responding to a dispute between neighbors. He was 40 years old. All right, Lindsay, thank you so very much. Time right now is 6.09. Today is a very big day when it comes to your weather and your traffic. We'll be watching what's happening on the roads. Let's go over to Mike. Let's take a look. We've got a dry slot that's now developing. St. Augustine, Keystone, Clay County. So some good news. The bad news is some very heavy rain continues to move into Georgia right now. Some blinding rain, Katie. You've got to be careful. And 295 northbound at Alta still blocked at this point. You can see traffic being routed off. So as soon as you exit the Dames Point Bridge, basically on the northbound side, be prepared to see those brake lights. But that's not the only accident we're watching. We'll go over all of it coming up. Cameraman. She's here to make sure the ships get docked. So three is me aft and three being 